What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by Skycoin. They're of course the first cryptocurrency that I'll be featuring on the channel. And that's not to say that I don't know anything about cryptocurrencies. I actually have my fair share of investments in Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, NEO, and a bunch of other altcoins. So disclaimer aside, I am also going to be investing in Skycoin because I actually just saw them skyrocket in value. In fact, when I originally started making this video, they were around $5. But recently, as you guys know, right after Thanksgiving, people were getting together talking about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and how they're the future of the overall economy. And you know what? I guess this helped all the altcoins and basically Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of them just shoot up in value because as you guys know, Bitcoin is about to hit almost 10,000 as of making this video. It could crash. The volatility is insane on that. But with that said, Ethereum is about to hit 500 and Litecoin is about to hit 100. And of course, Skycoin right here is about to hit $10. Now, don't don't think too deep into that. If you guys know, when uh, a lot of cryptocurrencies ICO, they ICO at really, really low amounts. In this case, they actually ICO'd at one penny. That's right, they went from one penny to t almost $10 now. And they're actually up 10.17%, which is around 0.00096689 BTC. My point is, a lot of people see a lot of potential in Skycoin, and there's a variety of reasons as to why Sky is doing so well. Now, as you guys know, you might be a little worried when you see this original number right here. Their total supply is 100 million. A little different from Bitcoin because I don't really know how to explain this whole thing, but basically, there's 21 million Bitcoin out there. So if you have one Bitcoin, then that makes it a lot rarer than maybe one sky coin because there's a hundred million of them out there but regardless it is a fixed amount and considering what they are attempting to do i think it's the right amount so what makes them so special so first of all skycoin is attempting to tackle a bunch of things in a decentralized way first of all they're tackling the entire internet they're actually trying to make it so the incentive to have skycoin and sort of mine it and all that is built and designed directly into your neighbor's mining hardware you're technically when you mine you're providing internet for your neighbors now i'm going to explain how all that works in just a second but that's one of the things that they're working on now they thought to themselves okay so we got ourselves a currency we got ourselves the internet itself but what if we could tackle smaller projects and then open it up to developers so they could actually use the sky branding to have projects as well well that's what they did so right now on their github you can actually see a project being sparked known as sky messenger so it's kind of a decentralized type of messaging application and of course they also have something called uh, i believe a type of sharing thing i'm not sure what it's fully going to be called but for now it's a type of Dropbox or Google Drive attempt where basically it's gonna have the sky branding but you know what you can upload all your files and things to the cloud right there and all of this is under the sky legacy as I like to call it for now I also got I want to show you guys how much they have already developed so as you guys can see right here this is their current wallet I currently have zero sky but that's not actually accurate because on cryptopia I do have a few sky coins so as you guys can see right here you can actually send you also have history right here and of course your Explorer now my wallet known as I on bank of oh, has zero sky but once again if you do want to send a few sky coins right here that would be just great but nonetheless as you can see that's what their wallet looks like and they already have an android application up as well which works just as fluidly as of course that app right there all of this runs on the Sky Ledger system, which is Skycoin's ERC20 platform, and you can actually find out more about this on their website. In fact, they actually show you everything that they have done in terms of development all the way from 2012 when it comes to developing Skycoin. So yes, they have been around for a little bit now. Here's Coin Hours. Here's some projects they worked on. This is pre-ICO. They were working on an Oblix, uh, Oblix project, which basically is their way of saying what they developed as an attempt to compete against Bitcoin. There is research, blockchain. Explorer, there's the I don't even know, there's the Android wallet that I just mentioned right there, and of course, finally, they released the miner. Now, this is where things get really interesting. If we jump back to their site and scroll down a little bit, you'll see that it says, What is Skywire? Skyware is the new internet. What exactly do they mean by that? Well, I gotta go off track for a second here. As you guys know, net neutrality is about to get stabbed because of Ajit, whatever his name is. That guy is just, I don't even know. But anyhow, Trump appointed him as uh, the chairman of the FCC. And basically, you know, he's trying to get rid of net neutrality because, you know, all the broadband companies and all that have a bunch of money in his pocket and he's like yeah i don't really care about net neutrality uh let them do whatever if you guys don't know what net neutrality is it's basically let's put it this way you guys know how your cable system has certain chunks of channels like for example you need to pay 9.99 for only sports channels and things what if you had to pay 9.99 and only be able to access sports websites 
doesn't that tick everyone off? Yes. So we want to keep the internet free, but we don't know how long we're going to be able to. So maybe a decentralized internet is the best option when it comes to all this. As you can see, in spring 2017, the FCC made a proposal in which internet service providers can connect, use, and collect, use, and sell information about the customer browsing browsing habits. ISPs can do this without any permission, and of course, customers can't opt out. How ridiculous is that? Now, if you guys know, the most hated company in America right now is, of course, Comcast. Now, the reason being is that they have pork, they track their customers, their coverage usually sucks and is really, really expensive. Thankfully, I don't have them, but my internet's not that amazing either. And of course, with that said, you can also complain about their terrible customer service. All in all, guys, internet providers are bad. But here's the worst part. Most people only have access to around two, if you're lucky. In some parts of, US, of the US, you only have access to one. So under the Sky branding, they created something called Skywire. It basically attempts to take control of ISPs and, you know, make them step back a little bit. It's a way to use the blockchain technology to create peer-to-peer -peer, uh, communities that basically share the internet all around. It's super private, secure, and no one really knows what you're doing so you can't really be tracked. How awesome is that? Now here's the best part. Instead of just mining for no reason and wasting your electricity, Skywire actually gives you beneficial incentives. So your contribu uh, contributions to the network, users can earn coins for running hardware nodes and providing bandwidth and storage. You can spend your coins by consuming media or other network resources. This system makes Skywire self-sustaining and independent. That little part right there is the key if they can pull this off and have enough people join this network of things not only would we get ourselves decentralized free internet but we would get ourselves incentives for keeping it decentralized and keeping it free how insane is that i really do wish all the best on skywire it's a really complex project what they're attempting to take on but clearly a lot of people believe in it or it wouldn't go from one penny to ten dollars so of course i'm gonna put in some sky coins you guys should go ahead and invest as well go ahead and check out all the other information i just wanted to give you guys the gist of it to spark a little bit of interest as you guys know everything is you know public overall so you can go check out everything on cryptopia and cryptopia is the spot to go and buy it so this is what it looks like you know just chilling 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 and then it just shoots upwards so there's clearly reasoning behind that on all guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe i wish you guys all the best on your investments when it comes to cryptocurrencies have fun with bitcoin have fun with litecoin and of course have fun with skycoin thank you for watching this is going to be me logging off